Assalamualaikum and uh, very good uh, day to Sekotor Swati. Uh, we from group 3 will present our report which is to study the factors affecting the fish embryogenesis. So we soft plan to, uh, to test the facts on the fish embry embryogenesis. So uh, the climbing perch or its scientific name, uh, Anabas testudinius, is one of the freshwater uh, fish belonging to the family Anabadidae and it's widely uh, can be found uh, throughout uh, Asia. Uh, it is known for their capabilities to tolerate a low level of oxygen, as stated by Zalina et al. 2012, and it is suitable to be used as a bioindicator and to detect the presence of metal ions, as stated by Amai et al. 2016 and Kamari et al. 2017. So for this, object, uh, for this experiment, our objective is to observe, interpret, and describe the growth of Anabas testudinius uh, A. Exposed to softener from brain colgate palm olive soft light in different concentration. To record and describe embryogenesis in representative planktonic fish A. Uh, to design and carry out laboratory based intubation experiment on a selected factor affecting embryogenesis of the representative planktonic fish A. So, for the methodology, it was uh, divided into four parts, which is the first part is to Prepare ration of the uh, proposal, which we have to consult Dr. Roswati from uh, lab to lab. Finalize the proposal. Once the uh, proposal finalized, then we will proceed uh, injection of overprim uh, to induce spawning of Adabas testudinius. Okay, and then after it was uh, it was placed in a dark place for five to six hours, and then uh, the eggs were fertilized at six forty-five p.m. Before that, uh, all the materials and apparatus will be set up. Okay, and then the tank uh, water that will be used, okay, uh, it have to be uh, left out to, on the sun for four days to remove the chlorine. Uh, the preparation of 250 ml, 249.6 ml, and 249.2 ml of water in three beaker uh, was prepared, and 0.4 and 0.8 ml of soft light was piped into the two beaker one wash of washing machine according to energy star uh, it used 70 liter of water and one cup of softener soft light uh, that is equal to 100 ml thus we want to find out one ml uh, of water how much soft light it contain so by using the formula m1 uh, equal to m2 v2 we found out that in one ml of water it contains 0 0.00143 ml uh, per ml uh, of soft light. Uh, the water that will be used is dechlorinated water uh, to eliminate the effect of chlorine, uh, chlorine to the eggs. Okay, we want to focus uh, solemnly on the effects of soft light uh, to the eggs. Uh, so the soft light, uh, both uh, of the concentration uh, have a very acidic pH which is uh, 6.55 and 6.42. All the microscope will calibrated. Use the microscope holder to assist in capturing the videos and the pictures as well. The eggs that was uh, the egg that was taken from the fish tank, uh, then transferred into a 250 ml of beaker. Then later on, it was transferred into the three beaker uh, at different concentration. So <coughs> then the eggs were transferred into a departure slide, uh, and each stage of embryogenesis was recorded. The solution of each concentration was monitored and avoid uh, uh, dehydration and to reduce the evaporation that was done by time to time. Uh, solution at different concentration was added into the, uh, the pressure slide. Now moving on to the result, our samples were taken from tank A where the hormone was injected 0.02 ml into the male and 0.03 ml to the female. And these are the parameters taken. In the one cell stage, we can see um, only the control um, sample was able to capture because we are running out of time. Both of the treatment the cell stage, um, the partial cleavage starts to appear. However, from in the 0.8 ml of soften, um, the, the shape was kind of formed. Moving on to four cell stage, division starts to be into four. And in the 0.4 ml of soften, one of the cells starts to be the 32 cell stage, uh, the blastoderm starts to appear more distinct and then moving on to 64, 28 cell and the blastoderm seems to be more divided. And then moving on to 256 cell stage, 512 cell stage, 
1K cell and high cell stage. You can see that the, the blastoderm starts to double the cell and be much more compact. In the oblong stage, um, the blastoderm starts to compress the yolk sac and this, in the sphere cell, um, the cell starts to form sphere shape. In the dome cell, shape remains spherical but the yolk cell bulging toward animal form. In 30% everybody, blastoderm um, form an inverted cup shape. In the 50%, the blastoderm just remains thickness. And the germy it starts to form germy. Uh, it, it becomes vi visible. In the shield stage, the embryonic shield stage becomes visible. In the 70 to 75% everybody, um, the dorsal side distinctly thickens and the tail bud starts to appear. In the 90% epibody stage, the tail bud starts to be more distinct. In the bud stage, we can see uh, the cell stage starts to be more distinct. In the 5 somite stage, the optic hemorrhagin uh, is starts to appear. In the 8 somite stage, the optic hemorrhagin is much more prominent and distinct. In the 12 somite stage, the tail bite is much more distinct than before. In the 14 somite stage, we can see the somite starts to become more visible. And in a 0.8 ml of soft land, some of the cells start to die and dissolve. In the 20 to 21 somite stage, the tail bite starts to detach. Finally, in the hatch, finally in the palm five stage, the egg starts to hatch and here we can see that the heartbeat and the blood circulation starts to become visible and the diameter uh, for the control is much more bigger than the, in 0.4 ml of soft land. Moving on to this graph, it shows the hour post fertilization of each stage of egg. The cleavage period, um, all of the samples have uniform growth rate. In the blastula period, uh, the treatment starts to have faster uh, growth rate rather than the control sample. In the gastrula period, the sample starts to slow down for the both treatment starting from the shade stage. The control, uh, the control sample is much more faster than both treatments. And finally, in the segmentation period, uh, the samples in the 0.8 ml of soft land have been the slowest growth rate and it stops at the 14 somite stage. However, in, however the control uh, samples have much more faster um, growth rate um, follow, followed by 0.4 ml and the lowest is 0.8 ml. The control samples is, has much has uniform growth rate than compared to In the experiment, we learned that the embryonic development in fishes is dependent on many factors in addition to temperature, pH and dissolved oxygen. The embryonic stages are considered to be very sensitive indicators of environmental disturbance. According to Sawan et al. 2001, the fish egg's development is readily affected by the environmental factors such as pH, temperature, salinity and etc. The changes in pH may severely impair the egg production, fertilization, hatching, normal development, and survival of embryos and life. So in this experiment, we make a different solution which is a tank control and uh, the beakers that have uh, soft land solutions. So uh, in the tank control, the fish eggs uh, is hatched. Based on our findings, the fish eggs hatch because in the control tank, there is no any substances that added in the solution that might disrupt the formations of the fish eggs. Besides, the control tank, the control beaker have a pH reading of 6.97 which is the optimum value of pH for the fish eggs to grow. By using the treatment with different concentration, fish eggs in both beakers are not hatching. It is because of the solution that is added with soft land and make the solution of the soft land is acidic and not suitable for the development of the fish eggs. The content of the soft land might inhibit the formation of the fish egg and according to Zahangir et al. 2015, fish eggs for freshwater can survive at condition of pH between 
6.5 to 9.0. Since the beakers that contain soft line solution consists of very acidic concentration which is below than 6.5, it might disrupt the formation of fish egg development. The egg show positive result because it is hatching when placed in the control group while showing negative result when placed in solution with 0.4 ml and 0.8 ml. The higher hatching rate might relate to the lower temperature which is 26 to 27 degrees Celsius during the period of the experiment which temperature is considered one of the main environmental factors according to Gadomsky and Kettle 1991 influence the hatching percentage and survival of embryo larvae. So according to Reynald, Reynald say at 2015, a pH lower than 5.5 may cause high mortality and reduction in diameter. Related to our result, which is both of the concentration, uh, that is 0.4 ml and 0.8 ml, do not reach uh, the uh, hatching uh, stage. According to many authors, according to many authors that uh, done uh, the same treatment, which is uh, below than 5.5, they say that it will reduce the hatching rates and the survivability of the eggs. And as reported by Ray Nalte, as, uh, as 2015, low pH will reduce the water uptake of the eggs cultivated due to the damage and the osmotic activity of uh, pre vitrine Because of this, the ability to resist uh, the deformation uh, by mechanical action will decrease. So, uh, that's why uh, there are many eggs uh, in the treatment 0.4 and 0.8. In uh, solution 0.4 and 0.8 ml, it is observed that after it reaches stage stomach 14, eggs will, uh, will uh, dissolve. Uh, and according to Reynalty et al. 2015, uh, eggs that were incubated in acidic pH have a great majority to decompose after 4 hours of fertilization. And by comparing the size of eggs at stage 4, 32, 64, 256, and 30% Eboli, it shows that the controlled egg have a bigger diameter uh, and both 0.4 and 0.8 ml treatment have a smaller diameter due to the lower hydration of the pre uh space. Besides that, pre fluid membrane is a very essential to allow cations such as uh, sodium uh, magnesium and hydrogen to penetrate but due to in an acidic treatment uh, the iron accumulation will be decreased thus delaying the overall development of the eggs okay. exposure to low pH also extend the period before hatching due to inactivation of enzyme uh, called chorionase that help in hatching process uh, because of low pH also uh, it reduces the metabolism of the egg by decreasing the size, uh, decreasing heart rate, decreasing time of bone formation, and increasing uh, the mortality rate, according to Nelson 1982. Uh, lastly, according to Parker 1985, lower pH will reduce the efficiency of yolk conversion to tissue, those uh, making it hard for the uh, fish. Uh, to receive any nutrients from the yolk, thus slowing the growth in both 0.4 ml and 0.8 ml. So as a conclusion, the treatment solution which is 0.4 ml and 0.8 ml of softland is more acidic which is 6.55 and 6.42 respectively than control tank that has pH 6.97. So the treatment will affect the survival rate of embryos and larvae. According to Zahange et al. 2015, the changes in pH may severely damage the egg production, fertilization, hatching, normal development, and survival of embryos and larvae. Therefore, the result that we obtain shows the fish egg in control tank hatched while the fish eggs in both treatment solution was not hatched.